Good morning, everybody. Um, okay, hang on. Getting this set up. Okay, Freestyle Friday. Hang on, hang on. Live. Sound is down. Turn the sound down on my phone. Uh, I'm going to give a second. Uh, it's 1101. I had a lot of coffee this morning and we're getting a little intense with today. I've got a, hey, I've got a flamingo. Um, Amanda, if you're watching, um, I love your bowl you did. Flamingos are representing today. Good morning to people. Um, I got my Washington mug this morning. Um, let's see, where do I wanna be right now? Love to be at Mount St. Helens or tent camping or where's this at a waterfall um i wonder what waterfall that is specifically biking for sure i could still bike i i could if i wasn't afraid of like leaving on my bike and then like five minutes down the road it pouring down rain on me um kayaking love to be out hunting for sass right now um so today guys um, a quick a quick couple things per usual um, it's first Friday um, so yeah first Friday um, I'm gonna send out an email um, I showed you yesterday on yesterday's video about um, where to sign up for those let me show you again real quick um, so if you go to blackdogpottery.net and then hit uh, shop online I don't have a good grip there we go shop online um, scroll down to the bottom sign up for emails right there so um, I'm working on building the email um, list and get some more email marketing going um, also you can go there and buy an e-gift card if you want to do that um, for Easter baskets or whatever and then also the link to donate if you want to donate towards these videos um, a minimum five dollars gives you a sticker and a 10% off coupon um, so yeah that's what we got going today sign up for the emails um, and then what else do we have I'm a, I've had a lot of coffee okay we're gonna we're gonna get through this today we're working with potatoes what the heck it's freestyle Friday um, so Yes, Freestyle Friday. Um, let me show you guys the finished product from yesterday. Actually, if you watched yesterday's video, paper masking, potato printing. Good morning, Nicole. Holy moly, I'm I'm wigging out. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so here is yesterday's um, the finished product. I went ahead and finished outlining Washington State. I, la I added a little heart, um, and then I did the border around the coaster. Around the out around the outside okay um, whoa calm down um, so and then here is the finished mug so this is the, the flower I was starting on yesterday so we did the flower and then I just went around and elaborated with a little bit more um, of the uh, petals um, and then I added to the other flowers so here's just a flower I don't know what to call that one this one is like a marigold design and then where are we at we're right here so um, this one is like a daisy sunflower-ish. So that's that's what I finished off this mug with yesterday afternoon. Um, and eventually I'm going to get to all firing all of these things. Um, and show you guys like real life samples. So, whew, wow, okay, focus. Um, okay, if anybody knows my address, um, I'm going to be cutting potatoes in this video and so I Travis I, I don't know if I stab myself and blood is spurting out someone call 911 and send them to my house um, that's all I got um, back to my, my coffee um, good morning good morning Sarah and Bonnie um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little bit crazy I had a meeting this morning and it was started at 8 45 and got done at like 10 15 so I haven't had a lot of time to prepare for this so um, per huge I'm just winging it um, and freestyle Friday first Friday um, if you didn't catch the first part of this video go to our blackdogpottery.net scroll down to the bottom sign up for our email list and um, I'm gonna be sending out a coupon 
cats out of the bag. I'm gonna be sending out a goodie for First Friday for when we open back up. Um, so yeah, that's what's happening with that. Um, also, I've been posting these on YouTube, so if you don't, okay, you have Facebook because you're watching me on Facebook, but if you have friends that wanna watch that don't have Facebook, you can send them to our YouTube page and go ahead and subscribe that too. Um, so far I haven't yet, but someday I might post videos to YouTube that are not posted to Facebook Live. That's my hope, my goal, my dreams, all those aspirations. <sighs> so, deep breaths. Okay, coffee. Do I need more coffee? I probably need water. Putting the coffee down. Step away from the coffee. Taking the water. Oh, look it, there's my sticker. Okay. Dilute coffee in my system. You guys. Potatoes. Okay, so first of all, my favorite thing so far this week is, I'm gonna show you guys some pictures, because when do I not show you pictures? Um, oh my goodness, okay, focus. Okay, so my favorite thing this week is this lady. I don't know if you saw this, but because everybody is doing like virtual meetings and whatnot, um, this lady accidentally turned herself into a potato on a Microsoft Teams meeting. Okay, seriously, this could happen to people. Um, what is happening? Okay, this is her. Okay, guys, I laughed at this for way too long that a normal person should laugh at. But if you, this is this lady's boss. If you're watching, if you're like having a meeting, a Zoom meeting or a Teams meeting or whatever, and all of a sudden your boss is a potato, how could you, how could you just not? Um, I don't know, I couldn't deal with that. I would laugh the whole time. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna go back to some pictures because I have real life pictures. First of all, um, I just pulled up potato printing on Google and I went, to, um, I went to images. So this is what I got. Um, there's some really awesome ones. Today I'm gonna do some Easter egg ones because um, you know, it's Easter. Must, must not we forget the reason for the season. Um, and so there's so many different options. So if you need ideas, um, where's some of my favorites? I love this tulip one. This would be really easy. Um, and a heart one. Um, and just, so here's a cool Easter egg one too. Um, so I just pulled those up. I made the Easter one specifically bigger. Um, so this is, um, I just love the two tones of that. Ooh, go this way. Um, oops. And then here's just a fun little image that you guys, um, it's just Easter eggs. I mean, they're obviously not like 100% shaped like Easter eggs, but um, what is its real thing anymore? Um, so yeah, that's just a fun thing. So we're gonna, I'm gonna do that. I've pre-cut a couple eggs slash. Okay, this is not, I am not recommending to bring potatoes into the shop. Um, I'm pretty sure we could do this on pottery, but I'm not going to today. Like, there's no purpose. I'm gonna do a whole nother video on um, on doing stamping on pottery. Um, so, but here's just a couple I did. So far, no blood. Um, and my other thing that I grabbed out, which I thought would be fabulous, um, are my pumpkin carving tools out of the back of the drawer um, that probably haven't been used in a few years because it's been a while since I carved pumpkins. So, um, whoa, don't fling around sharp objects, especially when I'm not wearing my glasses. Um, so yeah, pumpkin carving tools, um, a paring knife, and then I grabbed my giant big knife for slicing the potatoes in half. Um, so I just grabbed a couple extra potatoes and I didn't want to fully wing it. So yeah, I did these first um, and these are just fairly simple things. Um, it was easier. I will show you um, how I did this one. So I just took my big knife, which you probably could use a small knife, but I just kind of um, went down at an angle and then down at an angle. And that's probably the easiest and safest way to get just straight lines. Um, it, you won't see the angle, obviously. Um, <laughs> um, here's my forehead. You won't see the angle um, because it obviously you're just going to be putting paint on the top edges um, so yeah and then I did the zigzag one which was a little bit more intense um, and so you can tell like I kind of just like sawed it out but again um, as long as the top edges are flat you're not gonna see whatever's happening below the surface 
Um, so yeah, I for that one, I just took the knife. Um, yes, I did a shout out to Amanda on my flamingo sweatshirt already. Apparently, Nicole and my Am um, Nicole and my Amanda are um, my flamingo girls. We're part of the flamingo club. Okay, um, I'm gonna flip you down a little bit more. I got distracted by the flamingo. Okay, glare. There. Okay, so I just went um, like this and did a zigzag and then matched the zigzag and then I actually took my little carving tool here and then just kind of went underneath and like did this and they were like flying. They literally, I had potatoes, I have potatoes everywhere, like pieces of potatoes that were just flying. I heard one hit the wall um, and then Copper came in and was like, munching on things. I was like, what are you eating? And then I realized it was probably pieces of potato. Um, okay. Mm. Before I forget too, um, our, so on Wednesday, oh my gosh, today's Friday. Okay. So Wednesday is, um, I did a, I started a Facebook, private Facebook group, Black Dog Pottery, very important painters, closed group. So if you want to be part of that club, um, you can go on to our Facebook page, Black Dog Pottery, and um, scroll down a little bit. I'll try to put a sticky at the top so you can go and click on it, and then you have to be um, allowed to join the secret cub, club. club. Um, there's going to be a secret handshake and all that. Just kidding. Um, maybe kidding. Um, and so you can go there, and so last, on Wednesday, after the live video that I did that morning, we did a... Um, um, hello, Tammy. Um, so we did a, just like a Zoom meeting. So, um, we just were able to kind of hang out, chat. I could see people's faces. You could see my face. You could talk. I could talk instead of the one way stuff. Um, so if you're interested in doing that, go ahead and, um, go and join the private group. Cause I, I posted in there. So random public people can't, um, come and crash our party. Um, but, uh, so that'll probably be at least next Wednesday if we don't do it again. Um, I've been thinking about just doing like a um, coloring and cocktail hour. I don't know if anybody has like a adult coloring book. Um, adult coloring book makes it sound so naughty. Um, so you can go like, um, I don't know, I have a couple of coloring books and it would just kind of be fun to hang out and, and have a drink and color and chat and <sighs> May 4th. Okay. I had a little breakdown last night. I'm not going to lie. May 4th is a long time from now. It's like, it's a little over a month. Um, so I'm going to need your guys' help, first of all, because um, I did a shout out on Facebook about what to, um, what you guys might like to see, and um, so I've got a little list I'm compiling, some um, Galaxy, someone um, sent me an email, I don't know if you're watching, but I need to respond to that, about um, rock painting. Um, so I have some fun ideas about maybe just doing some rock painting, um, because that's going to be a little bit more accessible than um, pottery, obviously, at this point. I do want to let you guys know, I did... Um, send in to the state for an exemption um, to be considered essential and they basically said no I am not essential and I just need to wait it out so um, I tried but um, for now you guys are stuck here with me in my live videos um, was that everything I needed to say for that um, join the private group if you want to come and zoom with us or even um, I don't know how I'm gonna use that in the future but we'll see how that we might have some other full fun perks if you come join the private group Join the email list to get um, secret secret coupons mailed to you and maybe some what's ups with us. Um, so yeah, um, anyways, shoot me some suggestions on what you guys wanna see. I, I'm literally like, I don't know, being forced to be creative sometimes creates a creative block. Um, so I've got ideas um, and then um, I just kind of was like, what am I going to do tomorrow? And I'm doing potato printing. So here we are with our potatoes. I put a potato in my side pocket and was walking around with a potato in my pocket <laughs> and sent a picture to Travis, you know. It's crazy around here today. All right, one more drink of coffee and then I'm going to flip you down um, and um, do some potato printing. So hang on just a second. Again, I've got my Washington mug. I needed to feel like I was going to be out adventuring in our great Pacific Northwest today. Okay, so going down. Um, got my pile of potatoes and um, my random potatoes I already cut. 
and let's see I would slice painting all right Nicole that's a good option it's a good suggestion um, so I'm gonna just cut this next potato actually I'm gonna wait on that one uh, my potatoes are really sad looking um, so I'm just slicing it um, fat ways like so here's my potato. You could slice it this way. Like, I guess, actually, I'm going to slice this one this way. Um, and so this is just going to be a little tiny, a little tiny dude. Um, so thank you, Helen. Um, okay, so I know not everybody's going to have these, but for the sake of the video, I have, these are, this is a tool I use for um, making holes in pottery pieces for like, uh, what are those things called? Like a strainer or a colander or a flower pot or something like that. So um, I'm gonna take this small guy and um, this guy, um, I'm hopefully it comes out, but it's not going to. Okay, so I just kind of stuck my thing down in there. Um, anything you have, maybe a straw or something like that um, to make these holes. Oh, can you guys see those? Um, Hot dog, yes, Sarah, hot dog or hamburger slicing. That's exactly, so this one just got sliced like a, like a hamburger. Um, perfect, perfect, thank you for bringing that up. Um, so I'm literally just uh, making a bunch of little holes in here. So this is gonna be a polka dot egg. Um, oh, can I fit this guy? Boop, okay. So let me find my pumpkin digging tools and I'm gonna just I should have done this is whoop, there we go um, there's one hole so I'm gonna do the rest of these holes real quick hello Angela um, good morning is it morning I feel like I really don't start my actual day until after this video is done which I know it's technically morning but 11 o'clock when people come into the shop and I open at 11 I'm always like good morning even though I know a lot of places are open for lunch at that point um, so Okay, so the other thing that is good with potato printing is um, if you do this at home, um, you probably want them to dry just a smidge before you start actually applying paint to them. Um, so I'm going to keep, sorry if you can't see, Woo, that one went somewhere. Copper will get it later. <laughs> it's, it's fine. Um, okay, as long as it doesn't hit me in the face, I think we'll be okay. Um, Hi, okay, so, um, last one. All right, so you can obviously do this in a better pattern if you want. Um, so that was, that's my, my holy one. And I'm gonna keep this other one. So in that other, the first image I sent you, um, or I showed you, there was like a, a double, um, two stamping, two step stamping. The reason I have my towel here actually is to kind of, um, dry off like these ones were cut for a while so you can kind of tell um well now that i've dried those off but they've kind of dried out a little bit so um i'm gonna actually use both of these i'm gonna use this one as a lighter color in the background but because they go together as a hamburger um hamburger with some patties and cheese and deliciousness inside um okay so um Use the end of the potato slicer for that. That would be a good idea. If you have a potato peeler, um, yeah, you could use that. I didn't even think about that. I don't even think I have a traditional potato peeler. I have like a random thing I got sold on at the Piot Fair that doesn't have the little thing on the end. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna use this and then this will go over the top and it'll be um, like solid yellow with a purple egg or blue or whatever. Um, so I'm actually just gonna let those hang out on the towel upside down for a minute. Um, and then I'm gonna um, go ahead and slice a couple more potatoes. Um, so I saw this on Baker, Baker Kids Baking Championship, cause I'm a crazy Food Networks junkie, um, where they take cookie cutters. Um, I feel like I should do the star because that's gonna be way easier to try. I probably should have um, tried this, I should, probably should have done this way before. Bonnie, I'm glad you're watching, because like if I cut my finger off, you have to call 911 and have them come show up and take me to the hospital. And then this live video will just be going on while they're like loading me up. Okay, that was a lot of information. Um, it's fine, you guys are used to that by now. Um, so what they did was slice the potato 
and then stuck the um, cookie cutter. This one is, uh, okay, hang on. We gotta stand up and have some leverage. Okay, there we go. So um, they are, um, what they did is take the cookie cutter. This one's not gonna be an egg one, but um, you know what? We all need a little bit of a palm tree in our life right now. Okay, don't watch. This is not a kid's project. Um, I mean, it is a kid's project, but parents, don't let your kids try this at home. Probably, I shouldn't even be saying parents should try this at home. Okay, so I am just gonna cut around the cookie cutter real quick. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. Um, guys, I had way too much coffee this morning. We had a good chat, so the, the video or the the meeting I had this morning was just um, the Centralia Downtown Association meeting, coffee. We get together every Friday for coffee. Um, and um, now it's via Zoom on our living room couches or home offices or however it works out for people. Um, so, um, Helen, be careful. Okay, guys, I feel like this is the most... Apparently I need to live on the dangerous side because this is the most you guys have ever commented on my videos. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done putting the knife down. So let's pull this up. Check this out. There is a palm tree and it, it's awesome. So um, I'm gonna hang, put that down here on my towel to dry. Um, so I've got three Easter egg shapes and then one palm tree because we need some sun. Um, <laughs> Thank you, Angela. Um, I don't know that Amanda knows where I live either, but I know there's a few people watching that know where I live. Um, so, I'm going to, with my phone, i got to clear off my space. I'm doing my best to keep the area clean. I watched yesterday's video and it's just like, I got stuff everywhere. Now I have knives everywhere, which is even more scary, right? Alright, um, getting my big paper plate. And um, I kind of, I want a big paint area. Um, and I'm going to um, just, I'm gonna roll my sleeves up because I'm getting warm. Okay, so I got my big paint area. Probably need to get my paper pad in front of me too. Yesterday's lion tutorial. Okay. I should do a little art installment of all the random things I have in my notebook. All right, so we're gonna start with the Easter eggs. We'll do the palm tree last. Um, let me move all my cutting stuff. If I do that, I'm gonna move my eggs. Look at, so you guys can kind of see what's happening. Um, so I'm gonna do a yellow in the background. Um, Come on. I am struggling with these paints. You probably want more paint than that. Okay, that's not that much more. Um, so for the sake of um, getting paint everywhere, um, you can just kind of dab your potato in it and like um, you still want to kind of even it out. So like dab it and then kind of stamp it over here to even it out to make sure there's full coverage. But since I've got so much going on, um, I'm gonna just go ahead and use one of these foam Actually, that probably wasn't the best idea, but um, I'm gonna use a foam brush and just paint it on like that. Oop, and there's my potato. Okay, I'm sure I've done potato printing in, in the past in my life, but I do not remember. Um, so I'm gonna do a couple of these guys. Um, can you guys all see what's happening? Put the eggs under the palm tree. Oh yeah, that's a great idea. I read that too late. Sorry, Holland. Um, otherwise, uh, okay, I'll do that. On, I'll have to flip the page. Um, so you can obviously change colors if you want different colors. Um, and wash, ooh, don't do that. Um, wash, ugh, I should have not used a good kitchen towel to dry those off because inevitably I'm going to have paint on all my things. Now it's on my mug. Okay, calm down. So I'm going to do blue. Um, now, so obviously you can do different colors um, if you want to wash them off or have a whole bunch of potatoes. Um, due to the current food crisis, I don't know if we want to use all of our potatoes, but you know, just kidding. Mine are kind of like old and wrinkly and actually picked some eyes or whatever they're called off. Um, 
So I'm actually just going to use my same brush because now it's going to be a greenish color and I'm going to put it on there like that. Make sure there's good coverage and now I probably want to make sure these are dry a little bit better but um, and then I want to try to make sure that it's lined up and then I'm just stamping it down. Look at how cute that is. Okay. Um, so I'm going to do, I'm just going to do all blue with this guy. Uh, one more. See how this, this one slid a little bit so it's a little bit off. Um, probably because the yellow paint is not dry all the way. Um, so it just slid on top of the, the, the blue paint slid on top of the yellow paint. And one more. Okay, so those are super cute. Obviously you can do different shapes. Um, for the sake of using all my potatoes, um, I'm not going to, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the other two so we kind of have a collage of Easter. Um, the other thing you could do is paint the background green first, um, maybe do um, like grass, grass or something like that. Um, I, if I was gonna redo that and do grass in the background, um, I would maybe paint like with a watercolor um, and then the acrylic paints would stand out. I am using, you guys probably saw, but the um, the acrylic paints, again, um, Apple Barrel or whatever. Um, these are the ones I bought at Walmart the other day when I was there um, to paint my window at the shop. So they're a little bit fresher than the ones I was trying to use the other day that were like globbing out. Um, but what I don't have is like a pink. Um, so I'm gonna do purple, I guess. Um, actually, come on out. I did use a lot of these for the windows, so there's not a lot of paint left. Um, so actually, I'm going to um, use my blue again and dab on so I can have a multicolored egg here. Um, now I'm going to do my purple like so and then stamp this guy down however I want. Let's put him over here. Yay. Okay. Um, you can't, you probably don't have to add paint every time. Um, it'll just be a little bit lighter egg, a little bit more depth. Um, I'm, I'm all over mixing my colors here. Um, all right, let's put him here. Boop. Yay. Okay, let's put, try him without, um, let's put him up here. Is it's almost like a bunny shape. Okay, you cannot see the bunny shape, but um, here's like the nose and the ears. I mean, I don't know. It does not look like a bunny. Don't, don't try that at home. Okay, now I'm gonna do um, an orange egg. And that's my Easter. Oh my gosh, this is the old paint. Okay, nope, we're gonna use this one. Um, all right. There's some orange. I'm gonna switch have another brush here um, and that's gonna be the zigzag should I do orange and yellow probably yeah um, all right adding my orange every other zigzag and then I'm gonna flip it over and do the yellow and add that and do the top so you can actually do um, this with apples too. I've seen that a lot. Um, they're so cute. I do like the double one. So this was, again, um, one potato cut in half, um, and then one side was solid, and then the other side I did the design on. So that adds a little bit more um, color depth, but again, if you wanted to paint the background a color first and do the stamping on top, um, this would be even really cute if you put them on like um, a gift bag, if you're doing like paper gift bags for Easter gifts or canvas bags, you could use fabric paint um, and do it that way. Um, and um, so that would be cute for little Easter gift bags or um, even, I mean, I know we're past St. Patrick's Day. All the, all the days are just like, I feel like all the holidays are just being overlooked. Um, I'm putting this one down here. Um, yay, and then just one more. Awesome, okay. 
So obviously you can flip them around. I probably should have flipped that one around so it was a little bit different. Just a little bit more artistically pleasing to the eye, if you will. Um, so, there's my potato stamping with my Easter eggs. Um, so that's a fun project. If you, you might even, I don't know if this is going to work and I'm not going to try it on camera because um, I just can't really right now. Um, but you might even be able to do like um, stamp it on a window um, if you use like acrylic tempera paints. Okay, I'm going to move my towel out of the way. All right, now um, I'm going to move on to my palm tree. Um, so this, this, this I thing I did would work probably if you used any, any cookie cutter. Um, obviously it was a little bit easier to get in there um, with the pointy edges, a little a rounded shape or a more intricate cookie cutter might be a little bit hard. Um, and I did also grab a star, so that would be a great idea too. Um, obviously you could draw your own shape and cut it out, um, but I think having the cookie cutter there as a, a stopping point for the knife worked really well. Um, and I'm actually pretty impressed on how well this um, palm tree came out. So let's do a quick palm tree. Um, let's see if my brown paint will work. Um, and then maybe I'll put some Easter eggs underneath. I'm gonna put the brown up here by the yellow so we have kind of a, a tan, um, a tan base, and let's put some green down too while we're at it. Um, guys, let's, let's think of some tropical it's tropical stuff in life because this, this is getting depressing. Okay, so I'm just mixing my brown because um, I want more of like a palm tree, um, more of like a palm tree trunk. So I've got that going on. I got one more brush that I'm gonna do the green with. Actually, I might, I don't know. I don't know why this really matters, but I'm gonna do some green and yellow. So it's tropical. I mean, you could do a whole, um, do like a silhouette. So you could paint like a sunset in the background and just do black palm trees if you wanted to do like a silhouette look. Um, so there's my palm tree. Guys, I'm loving this. I'm just gonna do another one, a lighter palm tree. He's kind of in the distance. Um, let's paint them one more time and put a couple more down and then we'll, we'll snag and put some Easter eggs down underneath because pretend like we're having an Easter egg hunt at the beach in Hawaii or Mexico or somewhere sunny and fresh air and, you know, not, not stuck at home in the rain. I did get my, um, all my dirt unloaded so now I need to go get more dirt um, so there's my awesome palm trees look at how cool those turned out um, and so now I'm just gonna apply some more yellow to my background he's gonna be kind of brownie yellow because you know what this one is a fresh farm egg with a little bit of a brown tint to it um, and I'm just gonna put him down here at the bottom Ooh, look at that he is kind of brownish tint um, and then add another one and then one more so we've got easter eggs hiding in the sand um and then i'm going to add purple on top of the blue just for a little bit of um you know because my colors are getting mixed and crazy um so i just want to make sure that the shape of my potato is lining up with the bottom so the yellow and the purple kind of line up you guys these are like the ugliest eggs of all time. Okay, um, if you're doing this at home, use fresh brushes. Um, it could be a sun. Yes, that's a great idea. Okay, let's go there. Let's do that real quick. Um, uh, let me just finish out with these purple eggs. I mean, I did a whole thing on painting the eggs the other day of like dinosaur eggs. This is kind of like a dinosaur egg or a turtle egg, if you will, if we're at um, Hawaii. Um, doing on the beach maybe where there's turtle eggs and it's you're watching this and it's after Easter all right so let's put our yellow back down and do just a quick Sun where's my yellow paint um, 
drop that in there. All right, I just need a little bit. Um, I'm just gonna add some yellow. I might add a little bit of orange to kind of offset the brown that we've got going on. Um, so there you go. Um, there's our sun shining down on us. I'm just gonna take this and kind of do do do. Um, there's a little bit too much brown. I'm gonna add the orange on top. I like how we're just kind of adapting. So I just went from showing some Easter egg printing to all of a sudden we're doing palm trees with Easter eggs underneath and a sun. Um, so there we go. That is our um, potato printing lesson of the day. Um, so here's our Easter eggs that we were working on, just like a random thing. So again, these would be great if you were putting them on like um, anything. I mean, you could obviously, the one picture I showed had the, on like a frame. Um, so this would be a fun thing to frame. You could do Easter 2020, um, quarantine, whatever, the year that we were all Eastering inside. Um, if you can't do, if you can't do um, dye Easter eggs this year, you could do these and um, hide them around your house. I don't know. That's, that's a bit much. But, um, and then we've got this awesome potato printing with our potato printed, um, and yes, nobody had to call 911. That's a plus. That's a plus. Um, although it would make for a good story. Um, probably I'd go viral, right? At least I didn't turn myself into a potato. Um, so yeah, I, I, this is really fun. I'm glad the, um, I tried the, um, the palm tree. If you're just tuning in, I just used the palm tree. Um, you can go back and watch the videos. I am posting them live onto Facebook. Obviously they're not live anymore after I post them. Um, and then they're also on the YouTube channel. Um, so, but how I did this was I just took a cookie cutter and um, pushed it into my potato and then cut around it and then pulled the cookie cutter out and th that's how I got my palm tree. Um, and then you could do, like if you had a heart cookie cutter, you could um, make a Easter egg with a heart shape in it. Heart! Um, okay, so guys, that was today's video. Um, it's Friday, so I will um, see you back on Tuesday. Go ahead and comment if you have ideas you wanna see. Um, I'm kind of excited about doing a rock painting thing. Um, so we'll see about that. Next week I wanna try to focus on some more Easter type crafts. Um, and so, yeah, if you have any ideas you want to see, um, it is Easter next Sunday and this Sunday is Palm Sunday. So that's why we've got the palm trees. Um, <laughs> uh, no, that's not why, but I mean, it, it's all, it's all coming together. Um, so I really thank you guys all for watching. I know that I was a little bit crazy today. Um, but again, go on and subscribe or sign up for our email list, uh, blackdogpottery.net. Then click shop online, scroll all the way to the bottom, put um, put your email address in. I'll probably be sending out that email um, soon for First Friday. So thank you, um, First Friday. I know some of you guys watching have usually come into the shop for First Friday. Um, so yeah, at this point we are closed until I think we get to open Monday, the May 4th. However, they let us do that um, and hopefully if it doesn't get extended. Um, so yeah, I hope everybody has a great morning. Happy coffee. Um, Sarah, I love you too and Journey and I love all, seeing all your guys' arts. If you guys, that reminds me, if you guys do any um, of these art projects, post them to our Facebook page. Um, and so share them with everybody. I love seeing what everybody's doing. I, people are being so encouraged by seeing what other people are doing to be creative at home. Um, so yeah, post whatever. Even if it's not something I've shown, just post art. Just, we just like to see it. So um, I hope everybody has a great weekend. I think that it might actually be um, halfway decent soon outside. Maybe next week it's supposed to be nice. Um, so yeah, I love you guys. See you later. Have a great day. Bye.